8 and Kelly Ferguson join me now. They are the owners of Paw Prince Pet Crematory. Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for having us. We want to talk a little bit about this today, and it's a sensitive subject, but one of the things that is so unique about you guys is the dignity that goes in to losing a pet. Um, and so often it's like losing a family member. So welcome to the show. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about process for people that may be going through this now or about to in the future. Sure. We're uh, local. Pet Crematory located here in Mandarin on the mm -hmm. south side part of Jacksonville and we actually offer two types of cremation. We do an individual cremation where people can have their pet cremated independently and have their ashes returned to them in, in an urn or memorial keepsake. Mm -hmm. We also do communal cremation as well and a communal cremation is pets that people wish not to have returned. It also includes strays, wildlife, Good Samaritans, pets from the Humane Society and they are cremated together versus individually and their ashes are spread on our property. Mm -hmm. So for a lot of people it is like losing a family member and some of us we'd rather lose a family member than the pet to begin <laughs> with. Just kidding but you know really they become like our own children and so some of us have a hard time you know kind of losing that memory so tell us what you brought along today and and how to maybe preserve the memory for some folks which I thought this was unique. Yeah sure. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of options obviously for urns. This is um, our D132 or C132 Raku urn. A lot of folks choose this style. We have that in several different colors. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's a really popular choice as well. A lot of folks like that one. You can do that for both dogs, cats, other species. Okay. Um, yeah. Yes, and that's the complementary to the D132 that's... Right, and so, you know, this is all just different things that people want to, you know, have, have something. I think the original one that comes with, if if you don't specify, yes. um, is one that is a wood urn. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. And so and then th that one there, you can put the pet's picture in it. Yeah, and exactly. That's one of the ones you brought. What I also th think is interesting, is that for cats then? Yes. Are there <laughs> <laughs> okay. A lot of people like those actually. Yeah, okay. Um, also, let's talk a little bit about the jewelry and things like that. Tell us how this works. So sure. You brought along some examples. Sure. So um, we have the memory glass option. Um, that's a company that's actually based out of Goleta, California. Um, they blow the cremains into the glass, which is unique. Um, we've actually had those made for our personal pets. Mm -hmm. um, our other line of jewelry is the stainless steel options you see here. Um, you can put a small amount of ash. You can either wear it. They have keychain options, which a lot of families do like. So. Mm -hmm. And what we're looking at there is the ones memory that are glass. Yeah, the memory mm -hmm. glass. And you okay. can choose different colors and options. So. And they take just a portion of just the cremated note. remains and blow that into the glass. So you re you retain majority of of the ashes of your pet, but it's just a small portion that they take and blow that into the glass. Okay. The other option is to, but sometimes towards the end of a pet's life and it's time to put them down or have them euthanized, and sometimes dogs and cats don't like going to the vet. Uh, one of the things that you offer is that you will come to the house and or the apartment and pick up the animal if it has passed away and then take it on to the to your office. Right. Um, that gives the pet maybe some less stress towards the end of the life. Is that how you found it? We Definitely. work hand in hand with um, a lot of mobile vets. Uh, Lap of Love is one that where the veterinarian will go to the home and give their pet their wings at the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, should a pet pass away at home, whether it's unexpected or um, with a vet going out to the home, we do have services available where we can come out to the home. And some people are just physically or emotionally unable to transport their pet to their primary veterinarian or an emergency hospital so we have services to where we are essentially 24 7 365 and we're able to go out to somebody's home at any given hour and care for their pet in home okay we only have about a minute left um, one thing I think was kind of interesting too is back in 2008 when the the stock market was was going crashing and all the housing bubble was bursting on all these people were losing their homes and had to move many people are like they don't want to leave and move with a dog that's already buried or a cat in the backyard this is still a problem today tell us how you handle that that's a common question you get sure a lot of people have to relocate or they lost their home in foreclosure um, you know when the, that time comes you're not really thinking clearly and people that bury their pet um, in their backyard and have to move they don't want the next homeowner to put a pool in where they had buried their pet so um, they are able to exhume their pet's body and we can still do cremation after the pack. That's I correct. Think, I think that's a great option for people at least to know about. We only have about 15 seconds left. Any final thoughts? You service many of the vets already in this sure. area. Sure, yeah. Um, 
you know, we're in, we, we're here to help memorialize and, and make memories of the pet. And if you, you know, there's try, whether it's unexpected or it's something planned, you know, I always say make as many memories as you can, take pictures, make videos, um, you know, spoil them rotten. <laughs> and uh, that's, uh, if there's any, anything that people, whether they have a weird question, no question is strange to us, just let us know <laughs> and we'll right. be happy. Listen, thank you guys so much for coming in. We appreciate it. And we do have a, a dog down here that's alive that's <laughs> been sleeping that's the whole Levi. time. <laughs> just in case anybody's worried. That's, that's Levi. Levi. <laughs> Levi's, he's out like the light. Listen, thank you <laughs> both for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you it. for having us. Thank you. Up next, Noodles and Company. We'll talk about them when we come back.